Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome to 10 Rounds of Missing. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, there you guys go. Don't all jump in at once. Um, I'm coming to you live, <laughs> not live at all. <laughs> A relative very early in the morning. It's daylight savings time, and uh, I got fucked up over Halloween. Oh no. Yeah. Game's adult juice. Oh no, I also ate like a whole I know. Of Chips Ahoy. Awesome. I was, I've gone through an entire box of Whoppers in the past like 12 hours. I'm making bad but choices. But I think you were going to say Whop and I was going to start screaming. No! <laughs> <laughs> I am a child of God. <laughs> Please be nice to me. Yeah, I uh, went through a whole Big Mac truck in this tiny little garage. <laughs> I'm doing my best. All right, so um, then rounds are missing. Hey, it's a new fucking D and D show. Yet another D and D podcast. It's named such because of like, hey, what if we just fucking miss for ten rounds? Well, that happened one time. True fact. <laughs> I'm here with Rose, who uh has done podcast shit before, but has not appeared on my channel yet. Uh, Howdy. Hey. Who uh, you may know as my artist. That's me. Hi. And uh, North, who did appear one time before. Uh, uh, they were. I just. I just waved at the, the nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice, nice. God, it's been one of those days. Ain't that the way it goes? So, um, let me show everyone what, uh, what we're playing on here. This is the map. I drew it myself. Uh, feel free to give me any constructive criticism, and by that I mean keep your mouth shut. Hmm. I love it. Like it now. So I believe this is uh, North's <laughs> first time proper so, seeing it. Or and, we can uh, everyone else's time like first time seeing it in any extended detail you can also see my aquaphor which i use with my scars and tattoos in that picture don't mind that an essential part of the map i know yep it's important so as you all recall maybe i don't know uh i uh requested uh someone have a flying speed please this is why i don't know how to put in yeah, I don't know how to put in a flying speed manually on this website. It's fine. Sorry! We're cool. <laughs> it's just sweet, uh, stupid. I've got one for a minute once a day. There you go. A whole 30 feet. Nice. So, um, who would like to go first to introduce their character? <laughs> uh, I can go for going alphabetical. <laughs> Daisy, go All right. Ahead. Enjoy your character. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I'm playing as Anders Wesserson. Um, he is from a uh, from the future. His parents owned a farm that he grew up on, and it's all he ever did work in the farm with the animals and stuff. He hates nature. He hates animals. Aww. But because he worked with them for so long, he picked up some magic with it. So he's part druid. Nice. And the fact that he learned how to do this makes him so angry that he's also part barbarian. Um, he goes by Andy, and he is a charming fella. Uh, pretty cordial, but uh, not exactly the most uh, socially versed. So he's going to be a little awkward. Nice. And I'm excited to play him. He's my first boy character ever. Cool. What spells so, and weapons yeah. do you have? Um, as for weapons... Uh, this boy, he's packing a great sword and a sickle. Nice. Um, I thought about a pitchfork, but I thought it'd be overkill, so I didn't do it this time. Um, <laughs> and uh, spells, I have a whole bunch, but the ones I have prepared are um, speak with animals, create or destroy water, <laughs> and cure wounds. Cool. I figured that'd be handy in a foreign plane. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit. I should have introduced this. Um, he is a circle of the moon druid, which means he'll be able to transform into a lot cooler things later on. Ruh-roh. 
But for now, uh, I can't do anything with the flyer swim speed because I'm not high enough in level. So that sucks. Yeah. I, uh, but I can still do things. <laughs> Yeehaw. Um, yeah, I should clarify this. We're doing one of them intros uh, for the people who are watching and haven't been in my Discord for the past couple of months. We're doing one of them intros where uh, a guy just essentially picks his fucking fantasy football team from the multiverse. <laughs> So yeah, we're doing one of those. That's Andy, uh, and he's uh, not real happy to be here, but he's going to do his best. Do you have a? Uh, do you have animals picked out? Um, as of this moment, no, because my sheet hasn't loaded yet. But it says I can turn into anything that I have seen before. That's challenge rating one or lower. Wow. So, so I'm, I'm, we're gonna yeah, see a lot of cows, huh? Gonna see a lot of cows, some mice. Maybe you'll get a cat, but it'll be like a barn cat. Kitty. Yeah. Cat, yeah. Maybe some cute sheep if I gotta look uh, nice and uh, harmless. We'll see. Some cute friends. Nice, nice. All right. Who among you shall go next? Ness, you're up. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, there's only two of us. Should I say it first? Uh, yeah, I am. I got voluntold. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, bless her heart. Go on. Who's a tiefling bounty hunter and just kind of a bitch. Like, she doesn't really have a lot of patience. She's very tall and she is a ranger. And I'm not done with my character sheet, so I don't know what she has, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably guns. Yep. We actually talked She's about like a proper old West cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeehaw, bounty hunter. Fuck you guys. <laughs> we actually <laughs> talked about that. Um, You in particular are actually from this dimension, the one that this takes place in. Yay. Meaning that uh, you have something of a cred. Uh, yeah, I picked I pick folk hero yeah. for my background. And you're from somewhere on the map, which is this little thing in the middle left here. It's the Mako Barracks. It's where uh, bounty hunters and mercenaries live. Woo! Yeah. So yeah, and then um, your ranger picks are fucking just uh, men to hunt. Yeah? Pretty much, yeah. Like orcs and humans yep. so i don't know if that actually covers like half orcs and like human variants or whatever but it will. i'm doing my best because i've never played a ranger before <laughs> we can uh we can do we can pull in shit from the uh unearthed arcana and get better ranger stuff i was just what i'm doing my best on a website D&D &D Beyond is trying. It's very hardest. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she, she has wings, so she can fly. A little bit. Nice. A little bit of fly. Do you have a, uh, do you have a, a variety of ranger that you like? Uh, Hunter was the only one that I could find that didn't have letters after it. I just picked that one. That's fine. Is it, it was that and like two other things that had letters. I was like, they, I don't think these are like regular D and I don't know what these are. It was like Fay Hunter and Swarm Stopper or something. I was like, ah, no thanks. The Swarm guy's actually kind of rad. But I don't like bugs. Oh, it doesn't have to be bugs. It can also be like bats or chickens or something. You just ride it with a swarm of chickens. I love it. Just wandering around with just a horde of cows. Hell yeah. <laughs> so yeehaw. Yeehaw indeed. Alright, so bless her heart, uh ranger of some variety. And your choice of weapon is gun, yeah? <laughs> yeah, if you let me have gun. Oh yeah, I've already also got other characters that have gun. 
Like, I could do crossbow if it would be easier, but I do really like the idea of her just having just, like, a fucking pistol. Don't worry. Revolvers are, uh, common here. They're all Ooh. cowboy guns. They're all shit that you'd find in, like, a New Vegas or a Red Dead Redemption, so they're old guns. Yeah, like a revolver. Yeah. And, like, repeaters and Pump shit. Pump action shotgun. And uh, we're pre-conical yeah. bullets, so they fire musket balls and, uh, like, shells and shit. Hell yeah. So they're not fantastic in the way of damage, but that means that they're a lot easier to balance realistically. And they look cool, and yes. that's what matters. They do indeed look fucking rad. Shit, I'm gonna have to figure out how to draw a gun. <laughs> It's just a sideways M. It's like a sword, but long. <laughs> I didn't think that through. <laughs> just play a whole bunch of New Vegas. That's what I do. Oh, oh dear. Google's what does a gun look like? I don't think my computer would run New Vegas. <laughs> eh, it's a 10-year-old game. Yeah, but, like, my computer freaked out trying to do... I tried to play, like, Team Fortress one time, and my computer flipped shit. That's unfortunate. It's like, wow, I feel like this should not be running this badly. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rose, you're the only one remaining. I know the thing cut out. Okay. Um, so, hi, I am Rose, and I am playing a gnome artificer. My first time playing an artificer and a gnome. <laughs> um, her, her name is Ren Nissa of Timbers. Her, of Tim, or Timbers is her clan. And she, <laughs> I was looking through the book, and I was like, they choose nicknames sometimes. And one of them was One Shoe, all one word. So I was like, okay, that's absolutely one of her nicknames. Um. <sighs> She is vehemently against the steampunk aesthetic of artificer stereotypes, and she goes for bright and colorful neon colors, <laughs> like an acid trip, but cyberpunk. Nice. Um, she's, I don't, I don't know much about her, honestly. <laughs> she's my character. Um, she's absolutely happy to help out. I mean, she, I'm, I'm not from this point, obviously. Like I was, I'm also with the, uh, I'm with Andy, and I'm was summoned, so. Happy to help out. Happy to test out some new adventures. Um, she's very perky. Very excited to be here. Probably going to do a terrible accent. That'll be determined. Wow. And uh... <laughs> it's listen, easy. There's listen. only so many things that we have. Oh, that you meant terrible accents. Like first of all, Trev's accent is amazing. Second of all, um, I'm unsure for weapons yet. I'm still piecing together everything, but I probably will do if I don't have a artificer specific things i'll probably do ranged uh, something ranged so i noticed that we have someone who lives on a farm and has a frontier world a cowboy okay. and someone who can make guns <laughs> we made a cowboy <laughs> machine we're ready we made a western, we made a western. Like, yeah congrats. we've we've turned this into a western sorry i Welcome. just hope everyone's okay with that as we go in <laughs> only if you do an accent Oh, I'm ready with cowboy accents. <laughs> oh, I may or may not have practiced my accent in the shower for like an hour the I, other uh, day. I'm currently recording I'm New Vegas, so I'm having to say all my lines in a bad cowboy voice. So I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Yeehaw. Indeedy do. <laughs> all right. Um, so does, do we want to go through this map here? Sure. Okay. Give us the tour, cowboy. So Quartering Castle is, uh, where the, the humanoid regular folk live. You got, uh, humans, halflings, gnomes, other miscellany there, regular folks who aren't going to fuck with you. Uh, it's a, it's a big fucking castle that floats in the air. Uh, hence the name, Castle. Uh, underneath it is the Under Orchard. 
it's a uh, little little island of trees, apple trees, where they make most of their shit. Um, next up, we got Tour de Matri. It's a mysterious tower that will be revealed as the game progresses. Let the intro to Doctor Who or Immigrant Song. <laughs> yes, the former. <laughs> All right. Then we got the farmlands, which is a uh, very pleasant area uh, populated by many druid. Um. I'm boosting my microphone constantly, but it keeps dropping down, and I'm not sure why. That's irritating. Anyway. Uh, Farmlands is uh, very recognizable by the gigantic scarecrow over it and uh, the little uh, little island of uh, water off to the side. It's called the Runoff. There's several pirate ships, but the most notable one is this thing called the Nomad Planet. It's more gun than boat, to be perfectly frank. Me too. Me too. Yeah, we should all aspire to this. But yeah, that's the Nomad Planet. The Wooden Galaxy is this gigantic spiral of wood. Um, people live there. Stuff exists. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, the Mako Barracks is, as mentioned, that's where uh, all the mercenaries and Bounty Hunters hang. Um, that's basically all you'll get right now. The core is just this pleasant island that uh, is actually a different kind of map that I was drawing in a completely different style before I started to move on to other things. The Deeps is the largest area off in this corner here. It's uh, the size of a continent. Um, and when everything is floating in empty space, that's pretty significant. It's covered in little holes. Uh, all the underground races like Dwarves, Drow, and uh, Warforged all live there. Um, and there's a lot of mines. And next to it is the market, which is uh, a little offshoot of the deeps where all the good shit out of the mines of the deeps are sold. Uh, next up, we got Alchem Tower. That will be revealed. And then White Citadel and Crown Jewel, uh, both of which are where uh, the villains, the Devas, live. Crown Jewel is just a big fucking gigantic uh, mountain of quartz that's been carved into a traditional like jewel shape, like the, the Master Emerald from Sonic Adventure. Oh my god. It's used as a uh, big military base and prison. Of course the villains get the coolest islands. Oh yeah. <laughs> And the White Citadel is a, uh, another carved, uh, another carved jewel. Um, on the farmlands, do they worship the scarecrow? Because no, they I would. Them. Oh, that's fair. They know what they're about. <laughs> so yeah, um. That's about everything. Uh, I do want to say that the map loosely aligns to the alignment chart, with the top left being lawful good and the bottom right being chaotic, evil, and neutral. Mm. And then this here was we got the... a pretty good uh, placemat. I like it. Yeah. And then this here was the first official piece of art. It's a. Uh... Uh, elf orc looking over this big ass fucking castle here. Because floating castles are common. These are the big areas, but um, there are more than there are on this map um, that we will discover as the game progresses. But these are the big and uh, obvious preeminent ones. I'm excited for this. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a fantasy football pick. <laughs> well, I know that you love it so much. Oh yeah, I'm big on the sport ball. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna kill with this. Well, like I was talking, yeah, like I was talking to you about like 
uh, hey, we're doing that thing where uh, uh, the one uh, a large character just is like getting his fantasy football picks and selecting people from all other dimensions. And you were like, oh, I love that. And I was like, I know. Funny. We're not even ready for this. Ugh. Da, na, na, na. All right. Oh, my God. Forgot that I get spells. Congrats, Magic Man. You won. I didn't do well with spells last time I had them. I don't know why I do well with them this time. Don't worry. Rangers have a lot less spells. I mean, yeah, but still. Yeah, that's basically... You'll figure it out. You got us here. That's basically the long and short of it. Um... Oh, man. I'm, my palms are sweating here. Are your knees weak? Oh, Mom's spaghetti? Big feeling of trepidation. Science. It's going to be a good one. We won't let you down. I know. I'll try to not let you and down. Hopefully, hopefully we can make it 10 rounds of battle uh, without missing. That'd be pretty great. Here's hoping. Uh. But yeah, if that's everything, we should probably think of like a fun, cool signing off catchphrase, seeing as this is a podcast. Oh shit, you're right. We just we just weep uncontrollably. That's it. Because we're all depressed. <laughs> we wail bitterly. Literally into the unknown. It'll catch on. It'll be real catchy. Well, seeing as we've accidentally turned this into a Western, maybe we can do something with that. <laughs> we just need to play the good, the bad, and the ugly mu music every time. Well, everybody, anti howdy. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of howdy. I think. I think yeehaw is like aloha, and then you can say it for hello and goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and a good old yeehaw from me to you all out there. Hell yeah. Oh, I should not have been allowed to do things today. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeehaw, everybody. <laughs> yeehaw. <laughs>